for each See, it's a science roots of reading unit. We create a set of texts. So depending on the length of the unit, there might be five books or nine books. And those books build on each other. So students are encountering a certain set of vocabulary in the first book that gets repeated. In the second book, they'll encounter some of those same words and a few more words. And as it goes over, over time, students read more books in the set of texts they are learning, uh, they're, they're folding in um, comprehension and understanding of a variety of science vocabulary. That <clears throat> As students encounter the different books in the series, their science vocabulary is expanding and their command of different words um, is increasing. So what, what I would say is we don't avoid complex science words, rather we choose a set, a finite set of words that are highly generative and important to the particular discipline, these core disciplinary words. Um, and then we repeat those words over and over and over. So a second grad grader might encounter the word evidence in the first book three or four times. By the fourth book, he or she has seen that word um, maybe a couple dozen times. So it ceases to be a difficult word. You know, at the same time, these book, the, the experience of reading the books is in the context of having discussions about evidence, of gathering first-hand evidence, of gathering second-hand evidence. So their, their knowledge of what the word evidence means is built gradually over the course of the unit and from book to book in these text sets. Um, the accessibility model that we use in the books um, was developed by Freddie Hebert, and it's called the text model. In the text model at the elementary level, we use less than 2% hard, difficult words. Of those difficult words, we try and make the majority of them important words to learn. So, for instance, why have the word uh, thereafter or... Uh, uh, Gosh, why can I not think of words? Why have the word uh, uh, moreover or, oh gosh, these are so funny. <laughs> we wouldn't, for instance, um, have difficult words like North Dakota or chocolate or notwithstanding. However, we would have difficult words like uh, electricity or property or uh, uh, investigation or compare. Um, because those are the words we're targeting and wanting to develop. So, with less than 2% of hard words, a majority of those words focused on these core conceptual words, and then repeating those words many times. What we say is uh, no singletons. So, we never have a, a word appear just once. If it's important to use a difficult word, we make sure we teach it and repeat it many times so students are encountering that word in several different contexts and starting to um, uh, take that on, an understanding of that word themselves.